By the way, y'all, these are the two new recipe journals that we have. On the interior, they are the same, but we just have new covers. This is a sample print, so it's a little bit more green. It's definitely gonna show more as beige. Sample printing and mass printing is slightly different. So it's more of like a beige brown print. It's so cute. And then this print is adorable. This is the back. How cute. I love, love, love this one. This is probably my favorite, but anyways, they're both adorable. They're definitely like more masculine looking as well. And you guys have been requesting new ones. So anyways, I love these. My recipe journal, if you guys are new here, I have a home brand friend of mine. This is the inside of it. You can keep all the recipes in one place. There's a breakfast section, a lunch section, a dinner section and a treats and drinks section. In my recipe journal, I'm actually almost all the way full. I'm sure you guys see it in my vlogs all the time. I also have this pink cover. This is the OG one and it's almost completely full. You guys are new here and you want this cover. Like how cute. Anyways, I use this 24 seven, like legitimately every day. And I just love this journal. I think it's so sweet. It's, all, it's very nostalgic. It's amazing to not be on your phone. I love having everything in one place and then one day you can pass this down like how cute it's just adorable it's also a really good gift so anyways I love these also if you want to get these for Christmas for gifts I would buy now I would I look away for one second and she always gets herself out here. Coco loves the garden. Isn't that right, Coco? You're so cute. Speaking of, here's a little garden update. I've had a pest come in and take all my cauliflower, so that's not good. Definitely took some more of my greens as well. I need to text Bobby and just see what I can do. And then there's some growth there for sure. Hi y'all, welcome back to a week in my life. It's been a rough week, I've basically been in bed all week. I was sick and I'm also just very down. I'm like almost in tears already. Anyways, we're going to turn this around. I've gotta get up and do some things. I mean, I have been working just like from bed. I have a hair appointment today, thank God. I'm actually gonna go darker because all of y'all said that I should. I really do listen. I'm drinking some greens, these are athletic greens. Not sponsored. I wish. I love Athletic Greens. I've been feeling really sick lately, so I need to be back on like my AG1 and Colostrum. We are gonna get ready and kind of turn this week around. I baked my fourth and fifth sourdough low, as you guys probably saw. Um, I still, I cut up so many jalapenos last night and I was cooking with them. And like my nails, you know when it just like gets to the wrong part of your hand, like ow. So I baked jalapeno and cheddar loaves for myself and then my sister. My sourdough journey has been incredible. It's really just aligns with me. I did want to do a little haul. I actually got a couple things in the mail that I thought were just really cute. These pieces of jewelry, I'm really into jewelry right now. Joanna, is that how you pronounce it? I also had a weird reaction, so my skin is kind of crazy. I don't think you can tell, but the texture on my face is bizarre it's getting better it happened on sunday i tried a new old makeup product that i'm i can't even like say what it was because i'm not willing to admit that that's probably what broke me out because i've loved this makeup product for the past over 10 years i don't know if that was it but like i have this really weird texture all over my face and it's like super super dry um anyways these are so cute. These are so cute. And look at that. I have a very like distinct jewelry style right now and it's basically this. And then in the mail, I got this favorite daughter hat. Jack was wearing one. I got one from my mom that says like best mom, mom of the year, I think. I love favorite daughter. Um, Erin and Sarah's podcast, those are the founders. It's like my favorite podcast, world's first podcast. Anyways, favorite daughter is like done really, really well. And like, I love the clothes. I have a, a sweater from them, but this hat, like a chocolate brown baseball cap, like, Got these boots. These are everything that's linked to my shop buy. Every single thing that I talk about, if you guys go on my shop buy and you want links from this video, go to my YouTube section. It's all under there. And then also everything else is just linked everywhere. Look at how stunning these boots are for fall. Like, I am in love with these boots. They're so perfect. Like, this chocolate brown suede. They're good for wide calves, too. I have wide calves and I tried them on the other day. And they were perfect. Like, I just think I will get so much wear out of these and I'm in love. 
It is currently still 90 here, um, but I think it's dropping to the 80s soon, so. Okay, first thing we're gonna do, because I haven't really left my house since Sunday, put on an outfit, okay? And listen, I'm dressing for happiness, I'm not dressing for the weather. Oh my god, guys, I'm actually dying. Look what's hung up right now. Did you guys know that I ran a 10K? Happiness looks like my Reformation coat, I will say. A white t-shirt and barrel jeans. Thank God barrel jeans are like so in right now because I am in love with them. Like they're the perfect fit or like horseshoe jeans. I didn't even realize that they were gonna be so in. Jack and I went shopping and I got a pair and then now they've been like everywhere, which go figure if they're in stores, duh. But I feel like they're really the fit of this year. These are Everlane, I've tried them on. They fit really, really well. I would like to do like my $8 Target t-shirts that I wear all day every day. But just because it's hot, it actually might be nice to wear. I don't know, it's a bodysuit. Is it really gonna make a difference? It's kind of risky wearing a white shirt to a hair appointment, but that's okay. $8 Target t-shirts. I have six of them, uh, they're the best. Okay, so like you can see just how flattering these jeans are. They're a little dark, so kind of, kind of hard for them to show up on camera, but like they're just the best jeans. I actually, Cannot get over them. I love them so much. All right, y'all. So I actually really like these Chanel that I got on the real, real little ballet flats. I got a really good deal on these. And I feel like at first I thought I was going to wear them all the time. And then I wasn't wearing them that much. So I like felt really guilty, even though I got a really good deal on them. Like, and then this trench coat makes me happy. This, oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. It's giving fall. It's giving everything that i need oh my god this is literally perfect this is actually perfect and really giving me the will to live today so anyways love 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 this i still need to give this to macy i got this for her when we were in london because she ended up not being able to go to london with us for the concert so this is hers and i've just been i've had it sitting here for so long okay final look of an outfit that will make me feel better favorite daughter amazon fake diamond earrings Obviously not real. I wish I actually think that maybe like my next piece of jewelry that I invest in Should like potentially be I mean like lab-grown diamonds like not even real but like a nice pair because I do think I'd wear them every day I wear about someone who is very very cool. My personal hero team and my brand has always been and so I think I'm now also All right y'all we're gonna do a little taste test of the jalapeno cheddar bread loaf so this one looks a lot better, and that's the one I'm gonna gift to my sister. And then I'll have the one that doesn't look as cute. But I'm filming a TikTok, if I'm like, looking off, you guys get it. Wow, not much cheese on this side, but it does smell really good. Tell there is a ton of cheese on this side. All right, y'all, I genuinely thought I put way too many jalapenos in there, and it turns out I didn't even put enough. actually is now tomorrow. The good news is that I can be home today. I'm gonna do a lot of work later from bed and just like cozy up. But my cold plunge actually arrived. Ice Barrel sent me a cold plunge. I'm so excited about this. This is actually the cold plunge that I really wanted and we are making my garage a little wellness center. The issue is that I really need to get some things out of that garage so I should also list some things on Facebook Marketplace today. My entire diet this week has consisted of diet being like what I eat not like I'm not on a diet you guys know what I mean. Anyways has consisted of uh, sourdough bread. So I need to like eat something that isn't sourdough. And like I hope that I can set this cold plunge up. Like I'm getting the chiller, but I know the chiller is on back order or something right now, so I don't have it today, I don't think. Thank God the cold plunge arrived. Something to look forward to today. Time to unbox this. I don't know how this is gonna go. I, I know literally nothing about the setup. So we'll see. She took the mushrooms out. She put them in front of me. Happy Thursday, y'all. I just made some coffee in my cute little glass because these are the things that make me happy. Um, it's actually really hot outside, but I cannot wait for this fall. I'm out in my like patio area, not like the backyard, the patio. I don't even know what to call this, the side yard, the patio, I don't know. I can't wait to be out here when it's 
cold. So like to just drink your hot coffee, like do your morning reading, and then we work out here throughout the day. Like sometimes it gets like way too cold to even be out here. And that's what I'm excited for right now. Yeah, I've just been really, I always hesitate to say this. Like I feel like I've really become a lot more private with just like, I mean, I've been private the whole time. I haven't shared that much to begin with, but I just have been a lot more private. I actually filmed like a 10 minute TikTok video the other night, um, or like last week, just kind of like talking about my thoughts, like where I'm at and things that are bothering me and whatever. And I filmed it twice and the video deleted both times. So I'm taking that as a sign that I don't need to do that. Um, but I'm just really, really, really down. Like it, I think yesterday was probably my darkest day. Like it, sense i just feel like obviously grief like comes in waves and it's never gone away like and it i don't expect it to ever go away i, I understand that i know that but like i'm almost eight months what am i eight months and two days from today and it feels like it happened 12 hours ago and i feel like the sixth and the seventh month specifically have been the hardest and actually a lot of people in my family have been saying that like we all like separately have been like this month has just like annihilated me and yeah i'm just like really 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 going through it and i feel like i do carry it all well like i don't think it's obvious that's why i'm saying this just a little bit because like i'm going through it i feel like i'm failing in every aspect of my life i'm trying so hard like i'm working so hard i'm trying so hard and i just can't like this week i just finally crashed like i've been in bed basically for like three days because i just like can't get out of bed besides to like do hobbies and stuff which is like typically when you guys see me do things and i just i mean i still am working i'm just working from my bed but yeah i'm just so depressed like i am and it's not even just depression like grief is so much different than depression i wish i was just depressed like i, I wish i was but i'm just like very 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 deep in grief and i am terrified for the holidays because i know it'll only get so much worse and like i was thinking the other day like i filmed something last fall like last december because we've already lost my stepbrother five years ago and i filmed something last december being like if you're grieving in the holiday season like i see you i understand like i'm having a hard time and i'm like are you fucking kidding me like <sighs> it's also just like hearing people who like, my brother was such a good person. Like, he was so incredible. And, like, when I see, like, people whose brothers are just assholes, I'm like, are you joking? It, it, obviously, not that I want anything to happen to them at all. I just mean, like, it's so frustrating because he was so much better than them. It, it's just crazy. It's like, why would you take, like, the purest, greatest, most amazing, like, sweetest, kindest, most loving person, like... It's just so frustrating. He would never even like say a bad thing about someone. Like literally was always like so understanding and so he's like, well Kenzie, like, well Matt, like he's like, he's just not like that. And then I see people who are just like not great people. And I'm like, this is actually insane. Like actually insane. The idea of living from like a heavenly perspective is, has been really helpful to me. Right now I'm just so low, it's not as helpful. But it's like the idea of like one day we'll all be in heaven together and like, we'll all be back together again. And this is like such a small time on earth that we have as far as like eternity but yeah i don't know it's it is fucking brutal like it is so so horrible and i just feel like and i know this isn't true because i'm so grateful for my life but when you're going through grief it like you can't like see out of it it's just like i feel like i have nothing going for me i feel like i'm failing at everything like nothing that i'm doing is great like I've been doing this for 10 years and it's like I just feel like I have done nothing. I know I'm sure that hopefully isn't true but it does feel that way and that's like I feel like a failure. Like I'm just trying so hard and then I see people which again I'm happy for them this is what I want but I see people who have like never even like this is like obviously the absolute worst of anything I can go through but like I have been through a lot of dramas like there has been things that probably will never be I will never share but yeah I don't know I did just like want to kind of talk a little bit because like if I'm I'm trying so hard to even survive honestly at this time so I'm sorry I'm not pretty miserable I just like want something good to happen in my life like something <sighs> anyways I'm drinking my coffee I'm gonna like do my stupid devotional makes me so fucking angry and then I have a hair appointment today and then I think 
I had to get a lot of work done because I was supposed to get some stuff done yesterday and I just couldn't. I had a meltdown. And then I do need to bake for sourdough tonight for my family because we're going to see each other on Saturday. And also another thing is that like it's hard to like I become very antisocial but even just like people in my life it's like everything feels so much more like sensitive or personal right now it's like people who like go do things that like they would normally do with me or they, that I would normally be involved in or they just like kind of do like things that are weird it hits me so much deeper than it ever has and like normally I'd be like oh whatever like I brush that stuff off it doesn't bother me but now I'm like so hurt because it's like how do you not see that I'm so hurt like in general in life like why would you add to it does that make sense like, loss and grief it shows you a lot about the people and the relationships in your life and it's changed a lot of my friendships for sure which is something that I heard would happen in the beginning and I was like oh no way and like it has and that's just like another thing you have to go through on top of it but I don't know like I just know the kind of friend that I would be because I've been that friend before I know that I would be that friend and it's just like I don't know, like I would I would be so hyper aware and mindful and like not do things that are just weird. Like I don't know. It does it's just like random things. I mean it's nothing even in particular. There's just been like so much, honestly. Like not even like so much. It's just like there's been situations, like with multiple situations and it's just like what? I don't know. I don't even know if I'm gonna keep this in. I'm just like at this point uh, whenever I share things about grief online, it's like for the people who are also grieving because it helps me so much when I hear other people and I know like I get so many messages from you guys. It's in the number one thing people say outside of like how do you deal with this pain every single day I literally cannot breathe is like my friends suck. Like that is the number one thing. And I don't know, Macy and I are gonna film at some point. I don't know if we're gonna film or do a podcast episode or something on like how to be there for your friend when they're going through a hard time. Like when they're grieving. A hard time is like so fucking crazy to even say. When they're grieving or like whatever, just because for whatever reason Macy has like always Macy's just a good friend. Like Macy has been there since day one and has never stopped. I think for those listening, if your friend is grieving, like Grief doesn't end after like two weeks and it's not after like the initial week in the funeral like it gets much much worse Unfortunately, and like it's that time. I think that counts like the most And I didn't even realize like I really didn't realize I don't know and I'm so grateful for like so many of the other people I have in my life It's just like another thing that's like painful and because I've never been like this sensitive friend I feel stupid being like oh my god that like hurt my feelings, but it's like no, that's like normal. It's just normally, I think because I grew up with so many siblings, like I just don't take things super personally normally, but now I'm like, all right, I like, I think if there's ever a time to like be aware of like feelings or like showing up or something, like it's now. I know people just like don't know what to do and whatever, but I'll just never forget the year that I've had here and the people who were like just down the street. Yeah, I don't know. So anyways, we're gonna try to cheer myself up. We've got a big shoot this weekend and I've been really excited about it for a very long time. Um, the cold punch is here, like there are good things. So I did just wanna chat and talk to you guys a little bit. Um, I like really hesitate to even share this stuff because I just don't wanna be like a Debbie Downer, but I literally cannot like film my life without like occasionally talking about this. Um, it's just been awful. Anyways, I don't know how to like transition this, but I need to leave for my hair appointment in an hour. So, I need to finish this and like get everything going. Oh my gosh, my new book episode just went up with Sean to see if you guys need, after listening to that depressing conversation, if you guys need a good uplifting comfort listen. Um, Shaughnessy is like one of the I wish we lived in it like next door to each other seriously like I would be with her every single day I think she's the most incredible incredible girl and I just love her she's incredible but we do a book episode she's really like a book um, she makes a lot of book content she reads so much like so so much and she is amazing it's just such a good comfort listen and that would really make me happy if you guys went and subscribed to the channel and watched that video because I think you guys would really like love her. I love the episode. Also, I started Kelly Bishop's memoir two nights ago and I actually downloaded it on Audible after reading it because I heard she narrates it and I'm like, I think that would just like make the experience so much better because it's like literally Emily Gilmore, but I love her. And Gilmore Girls is like the ultimate comfort podcast, so.
hopefully getting my hair done today will help me because I've also been feeling really ugly and that happens when my hair really needs to get done like really bad it's like really needing something and we're going darker so anyways in the next clip we'll be in a different mood All right, this is gonna be my outfit today. This top is Everlane. These jeans are my favorite, like baggy jeans from Abercrombie. I just size up. Um, they look a little weird because they're a bit wrinkled, but low-rise baggy jeans, like if you want some for this fall, I think they're literally the low-rise baggy. Um, these are Curve Love. I got them in a size up. I'm normally 28 and I got these in a 30. I actually also have them in a size 28. Just randomly, I didn't realize that they were the same jean, but they actually fit and these and I'll put a picture on the screen of like me wearing these versus these but yeah those actually like are a great fit too so anyways they feel like completely different jeans so I just just trying out a ton in the dressing room um and yeah and then these shoes are so cute I think they're made well yeah they are made well I think they're like the cutest shoes ever and they match actually the bag my tote bag that I'm wearing today so I wish like part of me wants to bring a sweater. I wish I had like a good like warm brown sweater, but I don't weirdly and it's weird because it's like my favorite color. I don't know. I might just take this black like Everlane sweater and just throw it in my bag and see. I don't know. I wish it matched the shoes, you know, but I think it's fine. And then I actually put stuff in my second earring. I mean, oh, my hair, this is stuck. Like, this isn't exactly the stack that I'd want, but honestly, I'm just, like, too lazy to fix it. And then my glasses are linked. I'm not actually quite sure. This child or any other child in ever lives. And the thought of that was fully aware that I need for what came along an idea of no con. All right, y'all, I'm darker. I got rid of my extensions. I feel like I look a lot younger. Happy Friday, y'all. I'm on my way to my first workout of the week. This, like, never happens, but it's okay when your first workout is on Friday. Listen, like, that definitely hasn't helped my meltdown this week because working out helps me so much. I haven't even gotten a run this week. Like, um, I just have been so... Well, I was also sick. Anyways. We're... So, I'm sure that all set me off somehow. I'm going to wait lift... It's only a 45 minute class, in and out. I really don't feel like going right now. I'm gonna be so for real with you guys. I thought about canceling again, but I've canceled every day this week, so I'm making myself go. I've decided I do really like my hair. I don't think I'm gonna add extensions. I love the look of like really full hair with my extensions, but I think I'm at least gonna keep them out for a couple weeks and like see how I feel then. But yeah, everyone on TikTok said keep the extensions out, so. Took my Nutrafol this morning, put Divi on last night. I mean, we're getting to work. All right, guys, I'm back home. I'm getting so much of this stuff either moved out of my house today or taken up to the attic. So this is gonna be pretty open by end of day, hopefully. Like, this stuff is gonna be gone. I have extra LaCroix, like always. This is just good for hosting. I mean, like, we have, I have so much extra stuff. Like, these chairs I probably won't use until spring, so I'll put them up in the attic. The love sack, I don't know what to do with the love sack. Like, I don't want to get rid of it. But also, like, I don't think I'm going to use it. So I feel like I should just put it to this, like, I should just give it to someone. But I don't know who wants it. Like, I've asked one of people and no one wants it. They have other versions. I got the biggest one just because I wanted to be able to sit in it. And I'm really, really excited about this. I also got the ice chiller. But those are currently sold out. So, or they're on pre-order or something. Mine's coming, not this very second. So, anyways, I'm really excited. I want to fill up the cold punch today because I'm gonna surprise Tabby because Tabby and I have been talking about getting a cold punch for like so long aka me getting a cold punch but as you guys know we have community gifts with my friends which means it's typically like something at my house that everyone uses so I'm really excited and we're surprising her tonight with this little wellness center in the garage Oh, 
right, here they are. I don't love how this one like baked with that, but this one looks better. These are not my best loaves, I will say, and I did cook with active starter like way later than I normally would, but it had doubled and it was like, okay, I finally just filmed my entire like run video. I was up last night editing that masterpiece of a video, um, but I decided to film the talking portion. I have some stuff being done in my garage currently. They're actually finally replacing the wallpaper. I've been having a lot of drama with the wallpaper, but Spoonflower actually had really good customer service and they replaced it for me, which was really nice. We're doing like real wallpaper out there now and not peel and stick. The rest of my house really is peel and stick, but did I vlog my new bag yesterday? I think that I did. I'm so excited about this. Like I'm really excited to like dress up tomorrow. Like, oh, can't wait. And I have all of these little accessories, but I have more accessories coming. So I don't know if I'm gonna like decorate this today. I, I think I will and then just add to it. I think that's what we're gonna do. Oh, my pool is overflowing. I gotta go, guys. Big things have just happened. I decorated my bag. Look at how cute she is. I have more charms and stuff coming. This is from Sonic. Why well, am AirTag holder? And then we have this little bear, this scarf. I got these on Amazon. The bag is Coach. I did get more, but I can't like put them all on and then the, one of them came broken. So eventually we'll have more. I have a big photo shoot tomorrow for what I've been working on. Tomorrow is the biggest photo shoot for a friend of mine yet. I'm very, very, very excited. One of the products, well, we are shooting the recipe journals, which will be out by the time you guys see this. So I'll show them to you in, the, in this vlog. There's new covers, so they're stunning. And then we have another like new product that I'm the most excited for. Out of anything we've ever launched, this is by far my favorite, and it launches in November. So, I'm really excited about that. Anyways, I need to plan some outfits, so we're gonna get to that now. So, I might change the jeans with this. I haven't decided. Um, I am gonna add, like, some sort of... I'm gonna have my makeup done and my hair style, like, big blowout. This might be too... Like, is this too summery? I don't mean for it to look, like, seashell-esque. I don't know, I kind of like it, but I do feel like it's giving summer a little bit, but I don't want it to be giving summer, I want it to be giving pearl. So maybe this favorite daughter sweater will be good. It's just like cashmere, I don't know, cause I don't know if I really want something so loose, I might want something a little bit more fitted, but I do want this to be a more relaxed vibe. And it's the same jeans, so it's easy. I like love this, also these jeans like just fit so well. They're the baggy low rise, but they just fit really well. I don't even feel like they fit like baggy low rise. Like they don't fit super low rise on me, at least. I don't know, I really like them. I think that this has to be it. Could do too. Let me just take a photo really fast. I could also like pair this jacket with it. I could just bring the jacket. Like even if I like button it up all the way. That was that, and this is just something to plan your outfits out because it makes life, obviously for a shoot, like you really need to, but it makes life so much easier. Like, unbelievably easier, okay? I'm not over this bag. It's so perfect, I can't wait to go to dry bar in the morning with my little cute bag. <gasps> like, she's stunning, I'll show you guys again. I'm just like so in love with her. All right, I'm running around my house cleaning and prepping for the shoot tomorrow, packing that bag. These like massive tote bags are so good for shoots. But I had to let you guys know that I finished this candle already in like five weeks. Actually, almost two months. Seven weeks maybe. It smells so good. I just burned it literally 24 seven, but it smells amazing, the pumpkin sweet vanilla. Like, unbelievable, I love it. Guys, everyone gets a surprise tonight, starting off with Macy's. Will you film this really quickly? I'll be right back. Coco is <laughs> sitting on Tabby. Close your eyes. Do you want me? Okay, okay, okay. Wait, do I film oh, Macy? Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Do I film Macy? Surprise number one, you can look now. <gasps> it's your surprise that you left in my car! <laughs> Wait, uh, again. Is it my oil? No. <laughs> surprise number two. <laughs> you left another surprise in my car! <laughs> okay, close your eyes. Okay. Surprise number three. Two. Close your eyes. Care sauce! Yes! Yes! Okay, now I have another surprise for you. Okay. This is a real one. Okay. Close your eyes. Surprise number four! Yes! Oh my god, I'm so excited! I got her merch from the London oh, show. Oh, that's good. Oh my gosh. Did you like your surprise? I love my surprises, thank you. What do you think about Tabby's surprise tonight? Because Macy knows. Oh, it's gonna be good. 
But don't get too excited. It's not a sourdough loaf. Yeah, it's not a sourdough. That's kind of what I thought it would be. Oh, uh, yeah, I can understand why you would think that. But, but I'm Fitz ate it. Down one, so. <laughs> the lights flickering a bit, so we have to just like wait for it to stop flickering. We want her position. Um, I think she's like good right here, but we just have to like give it. Normally, it takes like thirty seconds right there. Okay. Maybe I should go hit the button. Thirty again. seconds. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's like. It's really slimy. If it if it runs, <laughs> just <laughs> yeah. squeeze harder. Yeah. That's what oh, they wait, all say. Sorry. <laughs> that's that's what they all say. Yeah. That's what they say. Oh, there okay. we go. Okay, this is like good enough, I think. Okay. I it um, oh, it's gonna keep doing it. Do you need to take it out of its tank? Maybe break it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, stay right there. Oh, holy fuck, it bit me. No, that's okay, it's that's it. fine. Well, I think we might have to just get over my dreams of it being filmed because it's gonna keep flickering like this. Wait, why don't we bring her in and close it? Why don't you just turn it well, off? Well, because it's gonna keep flickering. The lighting in my room is close. Right Here, I'll just increase Wait, I'll, the I'll, I'll use my light. I'll use my light. Hey, Tabby, come keep walking, keep walking, keep walking, mm -hmm. keep walking. Okay, now you can take your blindfold off. And look! We is have it a is No! This way! Yay! Did you know, be honest? No, I actually had no idea. Really? Is it cold? No. Oh. <gasps> well, we have a warm plug. Oh, do you have the chiller yet? <laughs> the chiller is coming. I don't have it yet. Yeah. The chiller will help. That will make a big but, difference. Wait, uh, it's a heated cold plunge. Wow. So it's a lukewarm cold plunge. I just got a spray tan. When, so will, it, when will it be cold? Well, we technically could Let's just go put buy ice. ice and it'd be okay. Okay. But I do have a chiller We could coming. do our thing on Sunday. Yeah. We can do our thing. We are going to have a health and wellness day on Sunday. Oh, wow. We're going to run. Sauna, cold plunge. Wow, yes. Well, you guys want to come run nine with us tomorrow? No. Okay. No, I don't want to do that. that. I thought I'd go for the invite. No. Um, when is your marathon? I don't do that. Oh. I, do, I only do ultra marathons. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll leave yeah. that one. I'm, yeah. I'm sorry, I've only done two of those. Yeah. <laughs> I don't do a normal one. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Yeah. Well, Tabby, Wait, you this is such a big deal. <laughs> this is she's all for Tabby. This, Tabby, is really this is for you. I knew it was a community gift. No, no, it's not. It's for you. It's just for you, Tabby. All right, guys. It's like 10.15. I went to dinner with my friends. Um, I need to shower myself tan off. I need to stop isolating myself, too. I feel like that's largely why I've gone so downhill this week is because I, like, Listen, I always say like I don't like leaving my house and I don't I want to be at my house at all times and I do like being home But I've also been isolating myself and like not Going and doing things and I do feel better after doing that so I need to make sure that I'm out and about doing things from here on out that needs to be my new Agreement I'm gonna see you guys on Sunday. I can't vlog tomorrow because again I've just been in this flop era in every regard, I feel like majorly in work stuff. Like, it's not that like I'm not proud of what I'm putting out. It's just that I feel like nothing that I do is like successful. It's Sunday now. I'm feeling a lot better. The shoot yesterday went great. I slept at my parents' house. Soph and I had a sleepover. Then we came back here this morning. Um, we went to church. She just left. And I'm gonna sauna. I'm gonna cold plunge. I'm gonna get a little bit of stuff done and then I'm gonna go watch the Chiefs game at my dad's tonight in Needlepoint. But I had to show you guys this. Like, I bought this on TikTok shop. I will say the quality, it's not like it's the most amazing fabric, okay? But I thought it was so cute. It's from, I don't know, it's just fashion clothing. I, I'll try to find it. But like, this. I love this vibe. And this, especially like when I'm at the ranch or just like layered over. So I just think it's so cute. Like my grandma made me one like this um, that's brown. That's just like a little bit more fitted. And it's so cute. But then the one she made me obviously is a lot nicer. This one's just a different color and bigger. But I think it's like adorable. Guys, TikTok shop is ruining my life. I'm buying so much stuff like regularly on there. Okay. So let's have a little chat. I started talking about this in the last clip and I just wanted to kind of expand. I feel like I am in my flop era, if that makes any sense. Like, I think it's just because I am in the worst space like I've ever been in my life. So I feel like maybe it's translating. 
I don't know. Like, I'm trying so hard, and I feel like things are just not doing well. And, like, maybe I'm just, like, ultra critical of myself right now. And it's not for lack of trying. Like, I am making every effort. I just feel like maybe I'm, like, too boring to watch. Like, I do, like, grandma things. I don't really go out anymore. I don't know. Every time Sophie comes over, I find random pairs of heels all over my closet. She runs into this room immediately. And I just, like, really want to get out of it. And it's less of me, like, making a plan to get out of it. Like, I'm doing everything I possibly can. Maybe I just will come out of it one day. I don't know. I just feel like a loser. Like, I don't know how to describe it. I feel like... Not a loser. That's a little harsh. But I just feel like it doesn't matter what I do. Like nothing is like doing as well as I would like want it to and that really could all just be in my head and I could look back at this and be like that's such an insane thing to even like think like I'm so grateful for my life I'm so grateful for y'all I'm gr like I'm grateful to like be able to like live out my dream but I just I don't know I just feel like nothing I do is good enough and it's not like performing it as well as or like I don't I really don't even know but I want to be exiting my flop era and like thankfully I do normally like everything better in the fall and winter I feel like that's really where I thrive even content wise because I'm just happier and those are like my seasons that are just like perfect for me and even like January and the new year stuff but I don't know it's just been rough and it's really hard sometimes like and like I'm so grateful for like this career and I love everything that I do and I'm so lucky to be able to do this especially during this time of my life but it is difficult when like so much of your job relies on you like filming yourself when you're so depressed and like so down and so deep in grief it's like it's hard because like I would have just tried to not film any of this stuff this week because it's so depressing like I don't necessarily want to like put that on the internet or like take a camera out or like put that on you guys or you know what I mean or even like share a lot of it and I have avoided that literally pretty much every single week since like I feel this way all the time but yeah I'm trying my best I really really am I just am really struggling like it's been very difficult and it doesn't help too that I like feel like a failure on top of all of that if that makes any sense so anyways glad to say I actually really like my hair it's definitely growing on me like this I feel like it's just so much healthier looking and it's going to be so much easier to take care of. I love the no extensions. Like, it's so much easier. But I think I'm going to sauna and cold plunge. I have to order some ice because I don't have the, um, like, ice chiller thing with my cold plunge yet. By the way, I do have a discount code on my cold plunge that I'll have in the description box, which is, like, very, very, very exciting. And I'm really getting ready. I really used to switch this this mood up very quickly. Um, like my next home project that I really want to do is like my wellness garage center. And I need to find someone who can do good lighting in my garage. And that's like pretty much it because all of it will be cleaned out and like done once the hosting closet is done. Um, and I'm just very excited. Like watch me wallpaper my garage. Wait, actually maybe I should. That's excessive. That is excessive. And it would be a pain because the garage is hot. But I also want to insulate my garage. So, like, I don't know. I could do, like, a pinstripe. No, I can't because my fabric is pinstripe in there. This is a lot. That's a lot. But I, I honestly, like, would do it. I want to hang stuff up. Like, I want my garage because I'm not using it as a garage. I want it to feel, like, cozy. Like, this wellness like, garden center. Anyways, gonna sauna and cold plunge because that really helps to, like, get me out of my head. And I do feel better now because I'm so excited for, like, what's coming. A friend of mine and house guest. Like, my producer has been helping me a lot lately. Maybe I just need to call my manager and be like, we just need a lunch. I don't know. this week's vlog my hair looks a bit crazy i do feel a lot better after doing the sauna and cold plunge anyways i love you guys so much and i will see you in next week's vlog i think next week's vlog it's gonna be really good i'm doing like basically the only things that i love <laughs>